A 19-year-old cancer patient who is partially deaf, blind, and paralyzed spent a night in jail after TSA officers left her bloodied and bruised at airport security. That according to the girl's mother, who is now suing the TSA, the airport, and the airport police. Hannah Cohen is her name. She was heading home to Chattanooga, Tennessee from Memphis after treatment for a brain tumor at St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Her mother claims TSA agents wanted to do extra screening on her daughter, who resisted because she didn't understand. She was confused. Hannah's mother says one agent put her disabled daughter on the ground, Hannah's head hitting the floor, leaving her, quote, bloody and blood everywhere. Security arrested Hannah, arrested her, put her in jail, but then they later dropped the charges. The TSA wouldn't comment directly about the situation, but a spokesperson did say this. Quote, passengers can call ahead of time to learn more about the screening process for their particular needs or medical situation. Philip Siegel joins us. He's an investigative attorney and president of Charles Griffin Intelligence. Also wrote uh, the new book, The Art of Fact Investigation. Philip, thanks for being with us. Hi, Greg. This doesn't look good for TSA. Looks, looks really bad. Unless they could argue that they thought this girl was going for a weapon, it's hard to imagine uh, how anybody, mentally impaired or not, uh, would justify being treated that what way. What if they thought she was trying to run? Uh, well, you can, how far can you get? And if she was trying to run, they could still probably resist. She's a, a small girl who's, right. who's uh, impaired and can't see, can't hear. It's just hard to imagine how reasonably they would have to wrestle her to the ground. We've all been in airports. We've seen alarms go off. Um, you don't get encircled by a lot of people when the, when the alarm goes off. It's just hard to know how this would have happened, except, of course, that it's an airport and it's probably all on videotape, which is perhaps why they dropped the charges. That yeah. would be my guess. It, it, it's all in the videotape. Isn't TSA, like any law enforcement agency, uh, is only allowed to use the level of force that is needed to meet the threat. They cannot exceed that. That would be considered excessive force. That's true. Uh, and when you see the videotape, and this will be in federal court anyway, this is an American with Disabilities Act uh, uh, case. And the case says, the, they're suing because they said, that the TSA didn't make reasonable accommodations for someone with mental and physical impairments. Right. Um, the idea that you can call ahead, no, no, the burden is on the TSA to accommodate yeah, people. But you and, know they're going to say we didn't recognize that she Well, the mother disabled. in the case alleges in the lawsuit that the mother was telling them, hey, she's impaired, she doesn't understand, she's impaired, and that, the, and that the TSA ignored what the mother was saying. That too should come out on the videotape. Her so impairment affects her ability to walk, talk, stand, see, hear. Given all of that, it should have been obvious to any reasonable person, any reasonable TSA agent, right? I would think so. If the uh, facts as alleged in the complaint are anywhere close to being true, uh, I'd be astounded that this thing goes to trial. Uh, yeah, they probably filed it under the Federal Tort Claims Act. You've got to kind of jump through a few hoops in advance before you actually get it in front of a jury. But, it, you know, if you're, if you're the defense here, the government, you don't ever want to get this in front of a jury because, you know, most jurors have been on planes. They go through security. It's an aggravation. They don't particularly like TSA agents. That's right. We've all, I think, experienced, if we fly at all, that a lot of the, most of the TSA agents that I've come across are fine, are nice, but I've had my share of really rude ones, abusive ones, and you're scared to say anything. Right. Because if you start arguing, A, you miss your plane, B, they can arrest you for, for uh, Im impairing their ability to do their job. You're scared of the TSA, plus you want to make your flight. But if this woman was saying, hey, my daughter's impaired, she doesn't understand, she's, she's 18, she's a cancer patient, she right. can't see, she can't hear, at that point, you gotta, you gotta stop.